Hi, so today we're gonna do rice. I got a lot of people coming to me and saying, hey, how can I cook rice like a Latino person? And I said, that's easy. You only have to pay attention to what you're doing. Today I'm gonna show you how to do rice with squid. Don't be scared, some seafood is good on your kitchen every now and then. Rice with squid, some uh, Latino uh, tasting beans with potatoes inside, and then at the end, the crowd jewel of our plate, arañitas de plátano, which translates loosely to plantain spiders. Don't be scared, it's like tostones, but it's better, you're gonna like it. Follow me. So, the first thing that you have to do when you're gonna cook is have your ingredients ready. That would allow you to have the freedom of start cooking your, 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 your meal without having to run all over the kitchen, okay? So I already have my stuff. What do I need? I need the plantain, I shred it with this little instrument over here, okay? I shred it and it's ready to go. I have my beans, which I, uh, prepare overnight this came from from a bag actually not the canned stuff but the canned stuff is all right okay I got my potatoes cube and water so they don't become brown I got uh, my squid that came from a can I didn't go and fish a squid but you can get a fresh in the supermarket if you want to then I have two cups of rice I use parboiled rice why do I use parboiled rice because parboiled rice is, is like insurance Okay, it's a rice that it will it will be very hard for you to mess it up. Okay. Plus, I have my mojo, and the mojo that was another video, and you can search it on our page. That's gonna be for our arañitas here, but it can be for everything. As you can see, I'm gonna use that for my rice, and I'm gonna use some for my beans too. Plus, I have some red peppers here, and I have some tomato sauce. Alright, let's begin by salting the rice. You had to do this. Okay. So as you can see right here, why do I salt the rice? Very easy stuff. Very good explanation. When your rice is shiny like that, it's going to be less likely for your rice to actually become uh, mushy, sticky to each other. You want your rice to be fluffy. You want your rice to be good. Okay? And that's how you do this. Okay? So, this rice has squid inside. So, what am I going to do? Put a little bit of tomato sauce on it. Okay. Put our peppers on it. On purpose. type of squid you say? Well, that is debatable. I always use squid that have ink on it. Okay? If you get it, uh, if you get it with your but butcher, it's not going to have any ink. Okay? I feel like the ink give it a color as you can see here. 
gives it a color that smaller smaller ingredient that I can use will give it. Okay? Okay. Now when I get this with the rice, I'm gonna use the water. How much water you say? Well, I have the answer for you. I put two cups of water. For two cups of water, I want, I mean, for two cups of rice, I want two cups of water, okay? And a liter. I'll say two ounce, two more ounces on top of the water you already put, okay? So what do you want now? You want this water to boil. Once this water boils, and you see that the rice is starting to get dry, that's when, that's when you know that you have to lower the temp and you have to cover it. The remaining uh, humidity in the rice is gonna cook it. It's gonna create vapor and it's gonna cook it. If your rice uh, tastes like it's kind of uh, hard or raw, that means that you need a little bit more water. Just take the, the cover off, put some water like around the middle and then around the, around the pot, cover it, and put it low, and it's going to finish with you, okay? But right now, this is going great. So, Rice is boiling pretty good. While the rice boils, what do I want? I need, I want to, I want to take care of my potatoes and my beans. I don't think. I don't think that you will like raw potatoes on your beans. So to avoid that, let me you trying to not to figure out what is this, I'll show you. This is salt and pepper. That's all it is. Okay? Salt and pepper, basic ingredients and work, they work wonders. Okay? As you can see this is boiling already. Don't move it too much. I mean, you want to you want to know that this is incorporated, but you have to let it do its thing. Okay. Now it's boiling pretty good. At this point, I will lower it probably from 10 to I'll say seven or eight. Okay. And then I turn the stove over here on. Because I want to boil those potatoes real good. Okay. That's a double warming. When you boil the potatoes before you make the beans, you actually help release starch out of it. The starch is gonna make your beans thicker. The sauce is gonna be thicker and it's not gonna be runny. As you can see, right over here on our on our stove cam, this is what you want. Did you see it? You can see the rice now. This is when you go and put this on two, depending on the stove you have, two or one. You don't want any more moisture coming out of your bed, out of your rice. Now let me talk to you about water a little bit. If you put way too much water on your rice, it's gonna, it's gonna be completely soggy. Some people do the pasta method. They cook the rice in a lot of water until they feel that the rice is tender just like pasta, and then they toss the water away. I don't do it like that. If you put a lot of water on it, that's actually the base for asopa, which is another dish. And one day, one of these days, we're gonna do it too. But for now, rice, if you put too little water, it's gonna be hard, and it's not gonna be pleasant to eat. So you have to, you have to strike a balance. Like I said before, cooking, is experimenting. You have to you have to lose your fear of cooking 
and you have to go for it. You will be, you will be burned, you will get cut. A lot of things will happen to you, you will burn food, but you know what? That's how you learn. So, this is what we want. some more color on my food. Here, this is sazon, also known as natto. You can buy natto or sazon, they're pretty much the same thing, but I like uh, sazon better because sazon has natto and has some other stuff on it. So, this comes in a powder. Why? Why is on water? Because I need it to put some of my beans here. I need to put some of my rice. Since my rice is already going, what I do is that I just put it right on top. And then I make up for the one time that I didn't put the, the color on. If you, do this, if you do this early enough on your dish, it's gonna be just fine. away from the corners. That's how I learned from my mother and that's how I do it. So what do we have left? Our rice, as you can see over here, is going pretty good. Okay. This is how you actually turn rice. Is that you're gonna take the Burn rice on the bottom, and then you're gonna put it right on top. And now you, you really don't want that, okay? So just kind of skim the surface of the burnt rice. You're gonna fill it at the bottom, and then just use that. It's always gonna be like that. It's very, very hard that you're not gonna have any burnt rice. Okay? This is one of the things that I'll say 10 to 20 percent of the rice that you cook is probably gonna go to waste, unless you do it on a rice cooker and you take it like really, really quick out of the rice cooker, but that's another chunk, okay? So now, we lower this temp a little bit more. We're gonna check our beans. Are doing pretty well. As you can see, you see the color? Did you see the color that the uh, that the beans and the potatoes are taking, that's because of the sazon. The sazon do, uh, do that, okay? Uh, let's go for my favorite part, okay? So the oil over here, how do we know if this water is hot enough? Let me show you. It 
you just sprinkle a little water on it and the water starts jumping, it's ready to go. Okay? So, now we're going to the best part. So what we do is this. Okay? You gotta be careful with plantains. Plantains is something that uh, can actually uh, stain your skin or clothes or anything that you put in. You take the, the shredded plantain on your hands, you press like that, and guess what? You got a spider, and you're gonna know really soon why they call a spider. Okay? Right now you go like this, you press it in your hand again, really good, like you were doing burp, 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 or something that the sound that kids do with their hands. Okay? Can you see it? And you go like that, okay? It's fairly easy. I'll say actually that it looks like it's more labor intensive than tostones, but you know what? Nonsense. It's not. Because once you shred it, that's all you do. You don't have to fry this twice. You don't have to be checking for color or anything. You don't have to, no. This is way easier, okay? I recommend you go before you start grinding me again. Oh, you should put the video of the, of the mojo. You, put, you should put the video of the mayo ketchup. I made those videos already, guys. Just go to my channel. If you're Tony from Facebook, I recommend you please, please go to my page. Please go to my page and subscribe. So, my trusty, you know what? I will call these tweezers. I don't know exactly what the name of this is, but it's better than, than regular kitchen ones that are like, you have to twist all around. No, these are awesome, okay? So, my rice is already made. Here's my rice, okay? How do that look like? Let me show you. You see how fluffy it is? Did you see that? Does it look sticky to you? Of course it doesn't, because it's not. It looks delicious. It looks awesome, okay? And it is awesome. I wish I had smell of vision so you can taste this, okay? Now, these are my beans, okay? A lot of potatoes, a lot of potatoes on it, okay? And now, these are almost there, okay? So what I do, it's stuck there, okay? And then you probably realize why the mystery of the name Arañitas comes from. Arañitas, spider, comes from that. In my case, the way I do it, I kind of press them like real hard. But, oops. But did you see that I have like some hairs, if you want to call them, legs, going to the sides? That's what gave them the name Arañitas. Okay? And let me tell you, they're, they're pretty awesome. You need to make sure that they are, you see that color, the brown color? That's what you want. That's how you know they're done, okay? It can be darker than this. That's what we're aiming for. You don't want to burn them, but you definitely don't want to eat this one. When it comes to fry things, you really want to use metal, okay? Put it on a plate so it will not drip anywhere. Use a metal colander of some sort. You can also use a, a cookie sheet or a cookie wire uh, sheet. That's what you really want. Okay? And as you can see here, how that looks like. It looks pretty awesome, right? Let's do some more.
que dice adobo but you're not going to use adobo just here because these ones are already made do it here yeah it's going to be right on the oil and this oil is going to be now seasoned oil okay adobo has garlic salt pepper and some other uh, spices like turmeric that are pretty pretty good for you taste wise okay so we're done cooking now we're gonna have to plate it okay and this is the this is the part that actually a lot of people ask me how i do it if you want to eat like you're eating in a restaurant or you just want to wow your girlfriend or you just want to just feel good about what you just cooked and then take pictures of it put it on the on plate on facebook this is how you do it and one of this a lot of people don't like this method but this is another show okay so average person is maybe like i'll say three or four spoonfuls so what you want to do is to have this rice like really really press here okay press it down press down press down why because we're gonna put this in a plate and you want it to keep the shape are you gonna put it without breaking anything here let me show you that's how you hold it you press the rice against it and then you have it and you're gonna put the beans right around it You can stack them like this, you can stack them like this, okay, and then you have it. And then you have your mojo, and then you have your mayo ketchup, so that's the plate. And here it is. You see that it was not a big deal? Rice, you had the arañitas, you had the beans, it was easy to do. Right here, from my kitchen to yours. Mere!